in essence, peace and nature are connected. If you damage one, you damage the other. If you protect one, you enhance the other. This year, we have seen several geopolitical and environmental crises unfolding. Food prices have been rising as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which is a major breadbasket of the world. At the same time, the effects of climate change are increasing. And the world is still grappling with the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. These crises call for urgent answers to several questions. Mistra Geopolitics prioritizes food security among its research themes, showing how these seemingly separate crises are interconnected. I think the Russian invasion is going to have a contradictory impact on levels of international cooperation on major questions such as climate change or food insecurity. Now we have a situation where the Ukraine crisis is affecting global food prices and it's affecting crisis indirectly elsewhere through, for example, food prices, but also through diverting donor attention. And I think that there is a contribution to make from research within Mr. Geopolitics to, to, to understand for how aid flows will be affected and how these compounding crises will have implications for global food security. Both Russia and Ukraine are important producers of wheat uh, worldwide. They amount to, together they amount to around 30% of the global export market of wheat. Um, Russia is also a top uh, producer of fertilizers globally, with many countries in Europe and Asia relying on fertilizers from Russia for their food production. Of course it has a significant impact. This in turn will lead to increased prices in the countries importing from Ukraine and Russia. Uh, without uh, upholding sort of the price levels with subsidies, this can cause sort of internal shocks at, uh, at affected countries as well. We're already seeing price increases due to the pandemic, uh, fuel prices, also some weather events that have affected the markets. We can expect this to aggravate the situation even further. And this will especially be felt in low-income countries that are of a high import dependency of food and vulnerable groups. We see right now that a lot of attention is on Ukraine, but the Ukraine crisis also has implications elsewhere. We see implications for uh, countries like Somalia that have been grappling with a multi-year drought, and where now donor attention is going, going, to, uh, going to Ukraine and, and other places. We face three basic challenges to security. We face the challenge and the threat of the use of force and the use of violence. And secondly, there's the problem of climate change and the broader environmental crisis, which has just been continuing to intensify over recent years. And thirdly, there's the threat of pandemics. And we have lived through that as a near universal experience for the last uh, two years. One crisis replaces another. It's like they take their turns rotating before our eyes. But they're all three there all the time. And we need to address all three. But that is why there is such an emphasis on an integrated approach to, to these problems. This leads me into the purpose of Mestra. Having a broad spectra focusing on human security, on food security, on climate security, combining new ways of thinking, methods of analysis, perhaps we can understand prevention in a new dimension.